Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au. I'm a MailChimp partner and I deliver online MailChimp training and consulting. In this short video, we're going to cover how you can reduce the spend on MailChimp whilst retaining the benefits of email marketing with MailChimp. If you like this video, please click like in YouTube or alternately subscribe to this channel. So let me go into MailChimp itself. I'm in my MailChimp audience as you can see. Now what I'm about to do will only really work if you're using MailChimp primarily for email marketing. If you're using MailChimp for uh, social media ads and so on, I don't recommend you do this. But this is purely if you want to save some money. In other words, not pay for people in MailChimp that you aren't sending email marketing to. So in your audience itself, we need to identify the people that we can't send email marketing to and take them out of our audience. Because in MailChimp, we pay for all people that have an email marketing status of subscribed, unsubscribed, or not subscribed. And you'll typically see that if someone has, for example, uh, purchased on your e-commerce store, but not agreed to get your email marketing. So the unsubscribed people in this column and the non-subscribed people, we can't send email marketing to anyway. So let's archive those people. In that case, we don't pay MailChimp for those people, for those contacts. So what we can do in our audience is click new segment, make sure the first column is email marketing status is, and then click this column or this field. And just make sure that the only two here are unsubscribed and non-subscribed. So I'm going to click preview segment and we can now see everyone and it's, it's, it's a very small audience this one, but we can see everyone that is now unsubscribed, non-subscribed. In other words, if we're only sending email marketing from MailChimp, we're paying for these people, although we aren't actually using them at the moment. So let's, instead of deleting them, let's put them in a temporary holding area where we don't pay for them in MailChimp. So I could either check their names, as you see here, if you just have a few people, or alternately, you'll be able to click a down arrow and select all visible contacts um, or all people in the segment. Now, to stop paying for them, in other words, archive them, we quite simply click Actions, Archive, and MailChimp says, do I want to archive these people? And I click Yes, in other words, Confirm. So they are now not in my main audience anymore. I don't see them there and I'm not paying for those people. However, at any time, I, I can, sorry, quite simply come to Manage Contacts, View Archived Contacts, and I can quite simply check the people that I want to unarchive and add them back into my main uh, audience. Thank you for joining me. I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au.